Uh, right, in here somewhere, I think. Are we grouped? Oh, yeah, yeah, group. yeah, we are, yeah. Like I said, I'm a little bit slow this morning. First cup of coffee. I'll get there. Where we gotta go? Oh, all the way around there. A bit running about on this uh, sniper person. Yeah, there's more running than there is in the other ones. Watcher 3, I need that link up to the Dominator. If Lord Jadis wishes to observe, we must accommodate him. Establishing Hololink, sir. Data flow is synchronized. Glad you found the time to pay us a visit, Agent. Take your place. The briefing starts now. Yeah, it'd be helpful if someone told me about these things. Sorry, Agent. It's been hectic. Lord Jadis, are you receiving our transmission? I am. Proceed, Keeper. Very well. You all know we've been attempting to determine the Dissident's plan of attack. Thanks to recent operations, we have the information we need. Unfortunately, the news is worse than we expected. A major strike is imminent. The Dissidents are targeting the ancient power conduits that run beneath the capital. Their intention is to overload the power grid, causing a cascade failure that would detonate the power relay stations. The resulting explosions would kill hundreds of people, and the blackout would leave us vulnerable to further attacks. Sir, aren't all access points to the power grid under military control? All but one. The terrorists intend to access the power conduits through the Dark Temple. Uh, sorry to interrupt. What's the Dark Temple? I'll sum up for those of you unfamiliar with the history. The Dark Temple predates Drummond Cass's colonization. It was sealed by the Sith during the city's construction. When the Dark Council opened it some months back, they found it inhabited by force-driven phenomena. Workers on site began disappearing inside, controlled by unknown entities. But whereas we saw the Dark Temple as a threat to be contained, the Dissident saw it as an opportunity. The Temple rests directly above a key power junction. If the Dissidents can push past the, um, phenomena, they can access the grid. These dissidents have been planning. They have supplies, maps, and weapons, and they are not counting on making it out alive. This is a suicide run. At least we'll be rid of them one way or another. We have security footage of dissidents heading toward the Dark Temple. A full squad of operatives will pursue the... No. My lord? There will be no squad. The Dark Temple is sacred ground, and will not be unduly disturbed. My agent will go alone. I'll make sure the job is done. My lord, I strongly urge you to reconsider. If the dissidents succeed, we... The spirits of the temple must not be disturbed. Not by terrorists, and not by Imperial intelligence. One agent will suffice. My role here is finished. Do as I will, Keeper. Very well. <laughs> then the decision is made. You will go to the Dark Temple. Stop the Radicals from reaching the conduits and detonating their charges. There's no mission like a suicide mission. If you don't make it back, appropriate arrangements will be made. <laughs> we'll monitor you as long as we can, but the temple blocks most transmissions. So just, um, good luck, Agent. When I get back, we should celebrate. Just you and me and a couple of drinks. No promises, <laughs> but whatever gets you through the mission. Go on, Agent. The Dark Temple is waiting. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a flirt. Right, well, I've got some, uh, some new pants for Calio. See if they're any better. 153 armor. Oh, yes, they are. Okie dokie. Yes, dear. So have you got to head to the Dark Temple as well? Uh, no, not yet. Hold on one second. Alright, okay. Hey, Murphy. Oh, Murphy's not doing it. Yeah. 
<laughs> you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I have to go across to the uh, uh, uh the tavern uh the bar. Right, okay. Whatever you call it. I'm coming. I need to speak to an admiral. Oh, I gotta speak to the admiral because we killed his uh, his daughter. Oh, of course we did. Yeah, in the uh, Grantham's estate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the cat city. To get back. Enjoy your stay. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. And of course, you can't jump off these things, can you? Which it makes it even worse. If you select the wrong one, you've got to suffer the embarrassment of going all the way. <laughs> there you go. With, oh yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, uh, put guard on. All right, cool. I suppose they, they can't make it so you can jump off the off the speeders, can they really? Because a lot of them fly above the skyscrapers. If you jumped off, you'd be dead all the time. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, it's not in here. I'm in the wrong place. Good job, I will mate. get there. I will wake up, I promise. Good job, mate. Yeah. Three more cups of coffee, I'll be right as rain. <laughs> well, where is it then? It's down here. Ah, uh, right, okay. Ouch. No. Three weeks. 21 days. Till D-Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I'm sorry. This can't be easy for you. Thank you, Hunter. Empathy from one of your class level is surprising. Here, take your credits and go. You'll understand if I say I never want to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. You may not want to go looking in any mirrors for a while. Just go. <laughs> Come on. He needs to be alone with what he's done. 24 pet points for that. Oh, nice. I'm telling me the murderer. <laughs> now I have to go back across the way to the uh, class building. That's going to be sent into the hunt, is it? Yeah, um... The free, the, the free for all? I think I have one more, and then it's the free for all. Oh, right, okay. So they said th I thought they said three casts, and that was the second one. Right.
ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Look at me go, got the right destination. Yeah. Skilled. How much was it for us, the speed of skill, 20k? 35? 35. It was a lot, yeah. I could, it's right here, right? This guy has it. Yeah, uh, just, your pilot leaving was 35,000 and you have to be level 25. Alright, 35,000 is good grief. And level 25. I'm level 25. Yeah. Unless you're a subscriber, if you're a subscriber then it's level 10. Alright, okay. Second bounty is done. Just one more, and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal. But I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. Professionals don't talk about their clients. I hear you. Less I know, the better. Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. I'm already thinking about the melee. Don't get out in front of yourself, Hunter. Good way to get yourself up and killed. Stay careful. Get this one done, and don't get yourself dead in the process. So where's her accent from, Nate? Like, the south. <laughs> she's from the south. Deep south. Uh, no, she's more like southwest, like Texas, Oklahoma. Alright, okay. Uh -huh. So, it gave me an item that... That I couldn't use. I could. I didn't get an item because I wasn't a subscriber. That's fun. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> okay. And now I need to go to Imperial Intelligence. Okay. <laughs> Where we just came from. Yes. Isn't your guy named Captain Metal? That's not the dude I'm dealing with, is it? Oh, maybe not. Do you want to get the speeder or...? Uh, yeah, sure. Does it fly straight there or is it like... I'm not oh. sure if he goes around or not. Ready for departure. Intelligent. Enjoy your yeah. Support. Flying in formation. <laughs> what? Turn. The green, the green wall should have been my hint. <laughs> what the? All oh, right, the bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial intelligence and all. I could say one word or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you.
That's a lot of responsibility for one man. I knew you'd understand. Makes your head spin, doesn't it? No. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm an Imperial intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why is it important to report those people dead? We need to explain them being gone. But that's not all of it. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. What if this commander and his team are still alive? They're not. And even if they are, they're not. <laughs> Understood. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. All right. Okay, looks like we're going to the Dark Temple then. Yeah, that's correct. And of course, we don't have the speeder there yet, do we? No, I, th I don't think so. I think there's a couple uh, quest points along the way as well. Ready for departure. No, we have to go to the cast city. Used to be a quest down here for deactivating these things on the walls. There was, but I don't know if there was. Uh... What's on here? No. Oh, nope. There used to be. It was like a mission. Yeah, it was. Yeah. There used to be a mission thing over here, or on the other side. Yeah, to get these to... bombs off the wall. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. Yes, I remember it well. Where did you go the memory? Yeah. Only works occasionally, Nate, believe me. First, yeah, and get the speeder, Nick. Don't forget to get the speeder. Ready for departure. Thank you. Got it. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Damn it! This would never have happened on my watch. No offense, Hunter, 
but we were better off before the war, when we were still closed to the rest of the galaxy. First, it's slave rebellions in the jungle, then this. We wouldn't have allowed these kinds of things 30 years ago. What's the problem, officer? I was sent to this construction site to investigate unusual behavior among the droids. I wasn't here long when one of the units attacked me. I barely escaped with my life. But worse than that, I found this transmitter on the droid. Do you think the droids were being controlled by someone? Yes. And I believe they're sending signals that back as well. Back down. I warned my superiors what would happen if they continued to be lax about this planet's security. <clears throat> someone, an independent interest, a rogue Sith Lord, is using these droids to broadcast Car City's schematics to an off-planet location. How did someone manage to plant the transmitters? I don't know. I warned them about using unsupervised droids. In my day, we would have used slaves, heavily guarded slaves. We need to get those transmitters. If we can remove enough of them from the droids, it'll make the data they're sending unintelligible. The sooner we get those transmitters out, the better. This information can't end up in the hands of our enemies. Okay. It's kind of funny seeing so much of the new cost city growing up around the old Sith architecture. It's like stepping through time. Hear that? Yeah. Two or five? One and five. How can you get two? Yeah, what? Have you got two? <laughs> they only gave you one, it's awesome. <laughs> Done. Seriously? Seriously, I'm done. Game hits me. <laughs> <laughs> I want two of five. And there's no, like, did you click all the bodies? Yes. There's no, no yellow. No, there's one now. There's one. I'm on three of five. Need to find a game that doesn't hit me, Nick. Does such a thing exist? <laughs> and there's not one of them on that. Seriously? 
How is it even possible? Still need one more. Finally decided to give me something. <laughs> I must have seriously upset the game gods in another life. It's bizarre. It really is. It's the game, it hits Brits. Well, that could be. I mean, you guys are the Imperial, uh... And you have the transmitters? <laughs> I've had way tougher jobs. Well, what do you know? And here I was, starting to think efficiency had gone out of style. I owe you thanks. If you'll give me a moment, I'll upload the data to High Command, and we'll see what's what. This is worse than I ever would have imagined. Lord Grathen's behind this. He has to be. I've faced this Lord Grathen and his renegade forces. What's he done now? He's covered his tracks well. We won't be able to prove it, but Lord Grathen has been sending security codes and planetary readouts off-world. Everything an invading army would need. Major Shellister is already en route to the probable invasion site with every soldier he can find. They'll meet you just across the bridge. Hurry. Ooh, it's all this. Oh, it's not quite as good. And okay. slightly better than what I'm wearing. Straight across the bridge, I take it. Uh -huh. There used to be a name on the bridge. Uh, it was either on. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's malfunctioning hollow droid, wasn't it? Yeah, there's two of them there. Sure, there used to be a bigger one on the bridge. But... the other way, isn't it, around the corner? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this place, and there is a... Over here, isn't there? Okay. Yes, on top of that rock there, isn't there one of those holocron things? Holocron, my codex, yeah. 
Codex. You in charge? Captain Eisen seemed to think you could use an extra gun. Glad to see you. All of you. Over the last three days, a series of transmissions left Drummond Cass and were received by ships orbiting a nearby asteroid. These transmissions contained safe landing coordinates for the planet's surface and security codes to bypass the orbital defenses. Are we at war? Have the Jedi finally landed? Even the Jedi don't have the temerity to attack Drummond Cass itself. Several hours ago, small shuttles built to avoid sensor detection began to land and deliver troops to the planet's surface. These troops are brutal alien mercenaries of the exiled Lord Titonus. Students of Sith politics will remember she was the rebel who declared her own kingdom on Bagheera. I have to assume the Dark Council did not look favorably on such a declaration. You follow exactly. Lord Titonus has judged her timing perfectly. With so many of our forces off planet, it is possible she could take Kaa City if she lands her entire mercenary army. We must stop her shuttles from landing and beat back her forces. I've thrown every resource I have down there already. Now it's up to you. Here it was, it was these boxes, wasn't it? Oh, damn it! Damn it! <laughs> 